I'm here at Princeton University. Behind me is a group of protesters, and they're here to protest a professor, Peter Singer. Peter Singer is a bioethicist, and he's a professor at Princeton University. And it's one key belief that's causing so much controversy, and I quote, killing a defective infant is not morally equivalent to killing a person. Sometimes it's not wrong at all. We're here because Peter Singer's views about, about the value of people with disabilities is, is a, is a school-wide issue, and that it's affecting people like me who have been dismissed from the Woodrow Wilson School. Only people like me with disabilities have been dismissed in at least the last 10 years, and this has got to stop. That was Rachel Barr. She was a PhD student here until she says the school discriminated against her because of her disability. She then went on a 28-day hunger strike, and now she's here. Had the university addressed the issues that I was raising, there would not be two more people from this school who have been dismissed because of their disabilities since I left at least. They've even given Princeton a report card. And it looks like all Fs, except for raises lots of money with no accountability. A plus. Alan Holdsworth, a disability advocate, had this stark comparison. It, it, it's beyond belief, basically. And it really comes from the, the early 30s when, you know, this is how the Nazis used to justify uh, parents handing over disabled ch children for the gas chamber. Although the protesters here are extremely upset with Singer's view, they aren't calling for him to be fired or to resign. They just want a different perspective here at the school, maybe even a disabilities institute. Now I reached out to the school and they have no comment at this time and Professor Singer could not be reached by email or by phone. But I want to know your thoughts. Tweet me at Chasing Tamara.